It's your girl Amanda and my lovely co-host. Cassie. Yes, girl. Make sure you introduce yourself so I don't take your shine. You always be getting on me when I do. So we are here. We are back for another episode with you. And I think today is going to be a fun one, which I probably say at the beginning of every episode, but <laughs> I, I genuinely do. feel that way. And it it is what it is. So, you know, I'm just letting you know in advance. It's another fun one. Fun uh, so throw fun, that fun and festive. Yes. Yeah, so that mm-hmm. makes it a little bit different than every other intro that I provide. This one is fun and festive. So, yes. Yeah. So I was, you know, doing a little light browsing because I've scrolling the internet here and there in between work, you know, and I seen a game that was actually kind of interesting to me that mm-hmm. I have not seen before. Okay. And it really made me think about, you know, the holidays and family get togethers and what better time is there for group games and different activities. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. So and I thought it's pretty perfect because we went to my aunt's for Thanksgiving as one of our many houses we went to. Okay. And, you know, there's just this thing when you get together with family and you have a good time and it's like, oh, man, like, damn, I want to spend more time with them again because this time was good. It was short lived. It was, you know, like it wasn't quite enough. It was like I could use a dash more of their time. Yeah. So she decided that we'll all get together for <laughs> Christmas Eve. Right. Yeah. Sorry. You all right over there? <laughs> I don't know. It kind of came out of nowhere. <laughs> so we're going to get together for Christmas Eve. And mind you, she's texting this like within a day or two after Thanksgiving. And she's hype, like so hype. Oh, my gosh. I can't wait for Christmas Eve. You know, I figure we'll do Christmas Eve together. Everyone can do what they want on Christmas. And I have this game that I want to play with you guys. And oh my gosh, this is like how she's saying it. Oh my gosh, we're going to have so much fun. And the game has a little bit of this and a little bit of that. But oh my gosh, I'm not going to tell you too much because it's so much fun. And I'm like, damn, she oh. got me kind of hyped. Like, no, I'm curious. I was going to be like, so what is it? But I guess you know. Right, <laughs> right. So I didn't want to ask because I don't want to ruin the fun. Yeah. But it's just like, damn, like what's it going to be? But she's just so excited for this. And I love it because it's like, I just feel like I'm living a little bit through her and her excitement. Yeah. And, you know, it's just another moment for the family to get together. And we usually don't play games when we get together. So oh. that is, I think, what makes it even more exciting to her because it's just like, oh, we have a game to play. And she's like, everyone's going to have fun. So she better not be lying to us yeah. when she says everyone's going to have fun. She's going to be mad as hell if I don't think the game is fun. So. I mean, listen, she can't always speak for everybody, right? Like, if it's fun to her. She can't. You know, she you might can't. be like, this is stupid. But <laughs> right. But you know what? I feel like my aunt's not like she's not corny in any way, you know, yeah. but I feel like there is a good like hip side to her, I guess, if that's what you can call it. <laughs> you know, hip. I, I, like, I don't know if that's the right word to use. And I feel old as hell saying hip for one. I just want to put that out there to describe anything. No, uh, but but yeah. Cool. Right, right. So she's cool people. She's not, she's not, you know, beyond her years and like old and boring. So I think she might not be lying, but you know, we'll see. So I'll definitely have to yeah. tell everyone about that. But anywho, so it just kind of made me think about this whole holiday and game. So the game that I saw mm-hmm. that I am not familiar with, it was called Musical Cups. Interesting. Okay. Right. So, you know, we have the classic musical chairs, the music plays, everybody goes around and music stops. You sit in a chair. Right. So for this, it was a table that had a bunch of solo cups that were upside down. Mm -hmm. And I seen it two different ways. One way where people were standing on opposite sides of the table. Like it was like one person on one side of the table and then they're like dancing while the music is playing Mm -hmm. and then the music stops and they have to hurry up and grab a cup. Like, and the cups are just randomly wherever on the table. Okay. You pick up a cup, you either have a shot underneath the cup and the shot is like, I seen clears and browns. So there's different shots. Yay. And they were filled to different levels. Oh, well, they're, they're filled already. Yes. So they're pre-filled. You know, like those little like um, medicine cups that you used to have with the Robitussin? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You measure out. Yeah. So it's like those size little cups. Yeah. The <laughs> you know, <laughs> once I say that, it's like everyone knows exactly what you're talking about. So uh. there were cups like that. Or when you flip your cup over, there's nothing. So you don't have to drink anything. 
Oh, okay. So there's two different cups. There's filled whatever Robitussin mm-hmm. cups, and then there's like right the solo cups that you're using. Right, and then there's no shot that you have to take. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So that version of it um, was just kind of like, okay, so who wins? Like, how do you know who wins? Like, the least drunk person is the winner. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that wasn't like to me that's not really as much of musical chairs as the other version i seen people were going around the table mm. walking around the table and when and it was a group rather than just like one person jamming in front of the table right. this was a group of people walking around the table when the music stopped they have to hurry up and grab a cup mm. and this one was a bit different because they had to grab a club a club oh my gosh here we go already early on in the episode <laughs> they had to grab a cup oh. And then they had to do the flip a cup. So you know how like people put the cup to the edge and flip the cup? Yeah. So they had to do that. And the last person to get their cup to flip was the one who was uh, eliminated from the oh, round. Okay. I like that one better. That one sounds a lot more fun. That one sounds a lot more safer. <laughs> I mean, I guess <laughs> safe was safer the word I was liver. Thinking, but... <laughs> All right. Because we'll go with that. You could pick the wrong cup and be drunk off of like four rounds you know because they had a bunch of cups from that first one with the shots Mm. so there was really like no telling what was under any of those you know (laughs) but yeah so I just thought that was pretty interesting you know and especially since you could do it in a alcoholic or non-alcoholic way you know it could be family friendly or uh adult friendly so yeah that was pretty interesting but um you know, I feel like some of the common games that I've seen are like the hungry hungry hippo have you seen that one you mean, like the actual like board game that people play with their families, or live action hungry hungry hippo where the people are the hippos, and you're pretty much Weird. partnered. Yes, and I've seen this in many places. You're partnered with the person, so one person is on the floor as the hippo, the other person has your legs, and you're like, I don't. I know some people were like on towels. Some people I've seen, you know, those little um, like those little like squares that have wheels on them like a scooter yeah the scooters back from elementary school yes Mm -hmm. back in gym class i used to love those classes by the way when we got to ride those but yeah so there were some people on those and they would use different kinds of you know like a pot or some kind of like box or something to you know go in and grab the balls and drag them in so yeah i actually have a friend he just recently had posted um he was out with a group of friends at Mm -hmm. someone's house and they played that and i was just like Oh, damn. <laughs> that looks interesting. I know I would rather be the one on the floor because my arms are going to be tired trying to pull somebody <laughs> around. <laughs> that is that is true. <laughs> you don't really think about that kind of stuff. In those right, details. right. Let me just go ahead. Just roll me around. I'll go ahead and grab our shit. Don't you worry. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'll help us win. Just keep your arms working. <laughs> yeah. But first of all, though, I mean, maybe this is just me. But mm. who on earth has enough room in their house to be able to have like six people or however many people it is? Like, girl you'd be surprised these people got space in their houses and you gotta move a little furniture out the way do a little rearranging you can make it work people can make it work but the ones i seen like they weren't super large groups of people you know i'd say no more than like five pairs okay. but you know it wasn't anything like massive i think that would probably be unsafe at that point <laughs> heads oh. clashing too many people going in at once yeah. yeah that'd be a bit of like chaos happening but gotcha. so yeah so that's a common one i've actually seen different people post well um, that's, another well and that's interesting though because that makes it more fun because like when you first said it i was like oh, okay so people are just out here playing board games like of hungry hunger hippo because i'm like something about that just doesn't seem that fun to me but <laughs> girl yeah it's actually it's quite interesting um Another one is uh, tic tac toe. I'm sure there's where a catch to this one too. Yes, there's a slight catch to tic tac toe, and I'm gonna say I was actually at a party with this game. So, mm. uh, for Christmas last year, we went out of town to go um, be with my man's uh, sister and her family, yeah, and celebrate with them. And one of her girlfriends does a holiday party every year, mm. so it's just at you know, some kind of like community center, they have food, and then they have all these games you play and different prizes to win. So one of the games was tic-tac-toe. And with tic-tac-toe, they actually had, you know, the tape down for the layout of the game. Mm -hmm. And what you have to do is it's two people versus each other, but it's a race. So you start a distance away from the layout 
and you take solo cups again solo <laughs> cups are key i should have one in my hand while i'm talking in this you episode should. and they take you have to race your opponent to make um you know an to win. a row of x's or <laughs> right a row of o's yeah. so you know one person has like one color cup so the other person has another color cup to be able mm-hmm. to differentiate the two got it and my man played this last year against his nephew. Mm-hmm. Mind you, his nephew is like eight <laughs> at the time. Yeah. So it's like a grown ass man and an eight year old. But you play it in your socks. Oh, interesting. And right, because it gives that slip and slide factor. So yeah. because, you know, we watched a lot of like people were loving this one. Like so many pairs of people were going against each other mm-hmm. because it's just you have to rush down one cup at a time. You have to lay your cup. But then, you know, depending on how fast or slow you are, the other person can catch you in between and mess up your whole rhythm of, you know, what you're laying down. So it's really racing back and forth to the layout, back to grab another cup to, you know, win. Mm-hmm. So that was pretty interesting because it's like you hear the hype of the crowd and you're like racing and you're also trying not to bust your ass. Like it's oh, right, just right. so many factors at once. So that was actually very entertaining to watch i'm not gonna lie i was not gonna be running i wasn't doing it um but you know it was pretty cool it was also like you know within five months after having a baby so i wasn't really there to be (laughs) moving that much like i'm like i'm just trying to chill i don't know these people i'm gonna try to embarrass myself (laughs) right right (laughs) you know i'm gonna fall out pull a muscle i'm getting old yeah we're not having that but um but yeah it was pretty cool so that i've seen a lot of is the tic-tac-toe so that's another pretty cool game again if you have the space to do it um but you know it's like all you need is just like a bit of a distance to be able to run back and forth to go to go play that but yeah no that that one i think is a pretty cool one pretty simple and you know it's that one's a family-friendly one you know kids adults everyone can play Mm -hmm. so that one in car requires no alcohol to be involved i am so sorry y'all um i just have been like so low-key these past few days and so not chatty with people so i think this is the most i've talked in (laughs) no it sounds terrible but like it's like the most i've talked in a while aside from my job when i have to talk yeah you know but um, but anywho, so back to the games. <laughs> um, another game that we played at that party that I also seen online mm-hmm. is Head, Shoulders, Knees, and Toes. Okay. So <laughs> you're again, throwing me with all these games right now, <laughs> girl. You're gonna have to try it. Like, I wish that all of us did something, you know, to get together I know, because be I, yeah, this shit would be happening for us. <laughs> so Head, Shoulders, Knees, and Toes. Um, you're standing across from your opponent. Mm-hmm. There is a cup in the middle another solo cup there's a cup in the middle i'm gonna call this a solo cup (laughs) episode because why not um cup in between you and your opponent so you're facing each other and there's one announcer so they call off different body parts head shoulders toes so you touch your head you know you touch whatever body part that they call Mm -hmm. and they throw you off because you know they just call them in whatever order and then they throw in the word cup and you have to be the first person to grab the cup to win Oh, so it's a race, another race. Hmm. People make games out of anything. I'm telling you, <laughs> they do. Like, and you know what? I actually what? like that because it's just it's allowing people to be creative, right? And getting away from. I mean, they're not fully getting away from social media because someone's recording the shit for us to see it. So, right? You know, they're not fully getting away, but it's just being in the moment yeah you know when you're playing these games you cannot really focus on anything else unless you want to lose and that's power to you but (laughs) i'm not there for that but you know it's just really nice to see people play these games and be in the moment with each other and spend time with each other rather just the bs that we see all the time with the violence or drama or you know whatever right so you know, it's a, it's a good switch up, even if they are cheesy as hell, because some of them are cheesy as hell. I ain't gonna lie. But, you know, it's cool. Doesn't mean they're so, not fun. <laughs> no, they're definitely fun because I can say I played that one. Okay. <laughs> uh, when we did go to the party, I played that one. Did you win? And I did. Okay. I did. I actually I actually mentioned it in a group chat. I don't expect you to remember because it was last year. <laughs> but I actually mentioned it in the group chat because I played against this little girl who was probably like half my height almost. Oh, God. And right. And she was like... She was just being like a six, seven year old child. So someone like egged me on to go play because I didn't want to play. Yeah. And so I'm like literally playing against somebody's little child. And she, I, you know, stand across from her. And she's you like, beat her. <laughs> I beat her because you know why? Awful. Because she looked at someone next to her or her mom or someone and says, 
I don't want to play against her. Key change partners. And I was like, so that gave you the motivation. So I was to like, beat this little girl, what's wrong with you? So I was like, <laughs> but like, I hate to say it, but it's just like the little attitude she had. She needed a she needed a reality check. Her pride was too high. It was I so I can't. Was hers so, or was yours in that moment? <laughs> My pride wasn't too high because I was going to let her win until that happened. And I was just like, well, damn, like I didn't, I said, hi, like I came over like, hi, you know, like I was really friendly and I was just like, she's well, little dang. doesn't know you, which is fine, but I'm not here to get to know you. I'm just here to play the game that I didn't even yeah. want to play in the first place. I can't. Okay. <laughs> so it was just like, all right, well, y'all Amanda, there, there's no shame in Amanda's game y'all. <laughs> There's no shame in my game. And I'm also one of them parents that ain't going to just let my... You earn the win. You need to earn your win. You cannot win every time just because somebody lets you win. That's true. I'm with you on that one. Yeah. I, I'm I'm just not. Like, listen, I raced the baby today and I told her she lost because she took too long. <laughs> I won. <laughs> Anyways, so I beat yeah. the girl. I beat the girl in the game. Oh, and man. But this is the thing. I beat her, right? I had grabbed the cup and I was just like, oh, mm -hmm. she was so mad and just snatched the cup from me. I'm sure she did. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, oh she don't like you you're forever. not, you're not scared of strangers. You're a baby thug. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I cannot with you. <laughs> Most little kids, when they lose, they usually get upset, stomp a foot, cross their arms, whatever. She just snatched a cup from me and like gave me the dirtiest look. And I was just like, good game. So anyways... <laughs> That was that yeah. game. Why is Amanda um, arguing with like an eight year old? Like, what is happening? Cassie, I didn't argue with the girl, and our listeners no, and viewers it was obviously a verbal see. argument. <laughs> How did I argue? I came over, I said hi. She got scraped. I walked away. That was it. I went back to my baby. I didn't. I don't got time to be mixing mingling people's oh, kids God. because then the kids gonna say something, they gonna turn to something. I don't got time for all that. I'm not here for it. She lost. That's it. Like. That's what's wrong with today's society, I'm just going to say, is that these sports teams try to make everybody a winner. Everybody can't be a winner. No. And if you and everybody if you don't fail, can't. how do you not go harder? Because you are only doing that shit out of spite. I didn't do it out of spite. Yes, you did. You said this little over girl win. that I didn't I don't want to be partners with her. So Amanda said, you know what, little girl? I'm going to show you why you don't want to be no. my partner. It, it went from, I'm going to let you win to well now i'm going to put in effort i wasn't going to put in effort now i'm putting in effort not spiteful just going to put in effort now that's all <sighs> anywho i'm glad you got a kick out of that i really did so the story would have been better if you lost and then <laughs> you were mad because you wanted oh, to yeah, win no, that... and didn't but anyway yeah no <laughs> <laughs> nice try cassie <laughs> oh man that's funny we also have, um, since we're talking about the kids, we also have another fun one for kids for games with the solo cups, mm -hmm. where it's similar to the musical cups situation. Girl, I know we can't get past the musical yeah, cups. But again, instead of using solo cups, if you are tired of solo cups at all of your events. Just use your glassware. <laughs> if <laughs> like, <continue. laughs> like this chick is bugging um you can use little small gift boxes or you know other kinds of little things you may have to hide gifts in you can make something but solo cups are just easy you could put a cup upside down and put a bow on top and it looks like a decoration anywho they had a a type of musical cups version for children where they would lift a cup and they would have either nothing money hot cocoa Oh. Uh, candy treats That's so cute. it's just a table with the layout and the kids were all taking turns grabbing cups so it was pretty cool they had like ones and fives and just mm. different things in there so yeah. I thought that was a really nice little little gesture for the babies because they need to have fun too you know not Definitely. only us but yeah no that's super you know. cute I like that idea yeah, and then they also have like I've been seeing a lot more of the DIY um, like punch cards where they will like set up when it's like, if you come here 10 times, if you get 10 punches on your card, you'll get the next one. Oh, free. no, I'm sorry. Not a punch card. Um, <laughs> A punch out. I don't know it's like, mean. it's like pretty much where you, um, oh my gosh, I don't know how to word it the best way. So it's like, you know, when there's a setup and there's different holes and you could punch out the hole and you pull a gift out of the hole. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. 
punch out's the best thing I could use for that. Um, so I've seen people do DIYs with just like um, toilet paper rolls. Oh, I thought where you were they kind of just cups. like. <laughs> no, we took. Actually, there might have been one with the solo cups. You could do it with the solo cups if you want to, but uh, one I seen was with toilet paper rolls because they. Um, this lady made a tree shape out of toilet paper rolls, just glued the rolls together. Mm -hmm. and then she put wrapping paper around the outside of it. So the outside was covered um, and she put wrapping paper across the front. So then you just have to poke the holes into, you know, you just poke a hole to get a gift out. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to explain that any better. That was a struggle. <laughs> It might have to provide some visuals. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm I'm just functioning to be alive right now, I think. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> so, yeah. So, that's another option. A little type of punch-out situation. You could put gifts in there. Um, just something fun and friendly. What besides, like, rolled-up money can you fit inside of a toilet paper roll? Probably socks. I don't know. It's children's socks. socks. Huh. Maybe. You know, socks and dollar bills, y'all. <laughs> Those are your socks, gifts. dollar bills. You could put condoms in there too. Oh just my god, saying. not for the children. <laughs> that one doesn't have to be for the kids. I'm saying you could do one for the adults. You were just, I thought you were just asking in general what fits in there. <laughs> we were just talking about children. We were, but then it just turned into what can you put in there? And I just started thinking of things that can fit in there. <laughs> and a condom is what comes to your mind. <laughs> what? Yeah, prevention. You know, people get real cozy during the holidays. I am so over this whole. <laughs> I'm just saying, I was born in October. I can't with you. I can't. <laughs> Anyways, all right. So, what are the games do you have for us today, Amanda? Oh uh, no, that was about the end of my list of some. Oh. Some of today's. Saying, why don't you? <laughs> <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> Ooh, pause. No point. Um. Yeah, no, that was about it that I came across that I feel like are trending for of like the past couple of years. You know, I'm not going to say just for this year, because some of them are definitely older than this year. And I'm sure people have been doing a lot of these things before social media blows them up. Probably. But yeah, no, those are just some of the interesting ones that I've come across that I thought would be, you know, fun to engage in. So I maybe might be saying this. So in case this wasn't on my aunt's list and she's listening that uh, <laughs> she could pick an idea. You stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but so do you, do you not traditionally play any kind of games on holidays when you're with your family or? No. No, nothing. You guys just like, no. get together and talk and laugh and stuff. I honestly don't remember Christmas over the past few years. Uh, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. Yeah. Um, I mean, like growing Christmas, up though. No, it's just open gifts and eat. Oh. Yep. Open my gifts, mind my business, and play with my toys and eat. As a teenager, I didn't really get shit. And we would just eat. Hmm. And they'd probably watch whatever's on TV. But yeah, I I don't know. Maybe it's just because of the loss of those who were a part of the tradition. I just forget what the hell we did. Yeah. But, you know, maybe it's just erased as they erase the earth i don't know <laughs> i really oh couldn't God. tell you yeah no it's just it's terrible uh, but but i i've just never really been huge on christmas it was always thanksgiving for me so hmm. maybe that's just it's just uh another day for the most part for me gotcha mm -hmm. what about y'all um so my family is very big on board games um mm. So all these like new age kind of crazy different weird games that you've been talking about the whole time. That oh, is all gosh. new to me. That feels like a new generation kind of vibe. <laughs> <laughs> I think it is though. <laughs> because board games and like card games is definitely like where it's at. Um, mm. So I mean we play like a number of different things but I guess you can say some of like the staples that we would do and I'll I can mm -hmm. only think of like three staples that we would do, right? So okay. I don't know if you've ever heard of Boggle. Of course, girl. Okay, so we would play Boggle. <laughs> girl, I scrape you all the time in Scrabble. How would I not know about Boggle? Um. Okay. First of all, <laughs> <laughs> the people don't have to know what we do behind <laughs> recording sessions. Okay. And second of all, you do not always wipe me in Scrabble. Okay, bitch. I have definitely. I'm at you a few times. 
Y'all heard her say a few. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, Vago. All right, guys. So we're going to end this episode here today. <laughs> Um, no, so we play Boggle, and we're really into like word games apparently because our other mm-hmm. staple is what you just mentioned. We do play I travel. I, I, I knew it. That's why I said it because I was like, I'm pretty sure <laughs> the other one is going to be Scrabble. I I feel like I low key remember Boggle being a thing with your family back in the day. Anyways, yeah, well, I don't know. It's just something that like <laughs> we would all play. I don't know. It's just it's fun. I don't know. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Um. And it's more, it's short, right? So it's, like, short and, like, fun, whereas, like, Scrabble is, like, a little longer. Like, you really mm-hmm. have to, like, sit down and play that game. Um, mm-hmm. But I would say, like, the ultimate one that we play, and I don't know if you've heard of this one or how many people have, um, mm-hmm. but it's a board game called Parcheesi. Yeah, I've heard of Parcheesi. You have? Do you remember okay. playing it? Isn't Parcheesi where it has the, like, it's, like, a triangular shape, but it's rounded at the top? The, like, little pond things? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nope, I remember Parcheesi. Oh, okay. All right. So that yeah. game, like, I love that game. I need to find a board game of that Aww. and, like, teach people how to play because mm-hmm. it's really fun. And I feel like there's nothing like a good board game to, like, just sit down and be able to, like, I don't know if this, like, sounds weird, but, like, to, like, feel the pieces, roll the dice, like, mm-hmm. just, like, kind of, like, do something, like, physical for the most part instead of, like, doing yes. all this, like, electronic shit or, like, even the games, like you mentioned, like, they all sound, like, really cool and, like, really fun, but Mm-hmm. You did also mention that they all include like a solo cup. So, right. <laughs> like <A> physical activity. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't know. Like, how fun <laughs> is that? I guess. I don't know. I'm just very old school and maybe because it is yeah. how I was brought up. But I just think like board games are definitely like where it's at. No, board games are fun. It's actually because me and my man were watching a show and in the show they were playing Battleship and oh, neither of us have played Battleship. Games. <laughs> I just watched that episode yesterday. <laughs> Oh, well, perfect. So, yes. Um, So we were watching that and we're so intrigued by the game. Like we were so into it. Like we were there playing and yeah, wild. And neither of us have ever played Battleship. And I was mentioning how back in college, (laughs) he scared me. (laughs) Back in college. You never played Battleship. Who are you? No, like I, I really have never played Battleship. Um, God, maybe I'm the board game queen over here. I wouldn't say you're the board game queen. I mean, you could be, but I'm not saying. I'm saying that to say that I've played many board games, but Battleship has just never been one of the games that I've played. And honestly, I wasn't really introduced to it a little bit until college when I actually went to go hang out with a friend after classes one day and she was with a whole bunch of her group of friends who were complete strangers to me and they were all playing um battleship and I was just like oh (laughs) but yeah right but that's the thing because it was just like and I'm not trying to be judgy but it was like oh it's kind of like It was just kind of like a bunch of like nerds, like hanging out together, playing Battleship. Like that's how I perceived it being someone who doesn't know the game, like completely foreign to the whole situation. Aside from the fact where you asked me to come and hang out with your friends, I wasn't expecting anyone to play Battleship. So that (laughs) was just like, And not in college, like what? (laughs) Right, right. So it was just like, but it was cool because it was a real chill environment. So it was just like, oh, so that's like my core memory of Battleship. It was just like, I see this board and I don't understand. And there's two people on different sides, you know, it was like, oh, I don't know what's going on. (laughs) So, but now watching it on the show Mm. and having a better understanding as to what they were doing because it's like no one was explaining to me what I'm looking at it's just like oh so now that I understand my boyfriend's like oh man we gotta get battleship we gotta play battleship and I'm just like yeah we kind of (laughs) do it's like yeah I actually kind of do want to play that which you know I've been trying to do a puzzle with him for the longest so I ain't gonna puzzles are different (laughs) But puzzles are, I enjoy puzzles, but, you know, we're very similar in the sense of like something that's mind challenging. So how you said your family, you guys would do card games. Um, We didn't necessarily do that for holiday tradition. That was just something we would do randomly all year long. Mm -hmm. Like we would just randomly play rummy against each other or play whatever, you know. Yeah. Usually it was rummy for the most part. Um, 
my mom's game was Yahtzee. She loved some Yahtzee. Yep, we did Yahtzee too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Yahtzee was like, but you know my mom, extra AF. Oh, so yeah. like when she got a Yahtzee, the whole neighborhood knew she had a Yahtzee. And it was just <laughs> sure like, they did. I don't know why when you like were just talking about that, like I just like heard, you heard her it? in no. my head. I did. <laughs> Even before you mentioned like the whole neighborhood would hear her. I'm just like in my head like, okay, yeah, I can definitely see your mom doing that. Right. No, I thought you were going to say, yeah, I remember this one time I was at my house and I actually thought I heard her say Yahtzee. No. <laughs> <I know. laughs> it's like, yep, that was, that was us. <laughs> but yeah, so that, so I, I'm definitely, you can have, you can have the title of board game queen, but you know, I'm definitely not foreign to a board game. I, I do personally enjoy those types of things too. And, you know, again, it just really removes you from everything else and puts you into that moment. Mm-hmm. And I think just with the way today is being very technology advanced and then just where we are in our lives and our adulthood and busyness and work and family like we really could use more of that time yeah no it's just having me think about like a lot of things in my life and i think i need to bring back some board games <laughs> right right it's like let's start reevaluating a few things here and i hope the listeners i hope y'all are reevaluating a few things too if you're not getting enough in because a good board game like i used to love candy land real cheesy Ooh, but i used to love yeah. a good candy land you know bomb. yep yep shoots and ladders used to piss me off though <laughs> like, i got so damn far <laughs> <laughs> oh god yes and then my ultimate favorite used to also be mousetrap girl i used girl. to love me some good mousetrap <laughs> who are you kidding that was my shit no. oh my gosh yeah. that was probably my absolute favorite as a kid for the longest mm. mousetrap mousetrap oh my gosh just going through the whole mm. All right, yep. maybe, maybe that has to be on my list. Maybe, let me go to Amazon and right. check this out. <laughs> bring it on back. Bring it on back. Get the kids introduced to these things. Come on now. We're going to get y'all into this and, you know, make it a – bring the tradition back on in. But, yeah. yeah. And even simple things like, um, uh, whatchamacallit, Operation. Oh, God. That used to be my <laughs> shit. I used to love that. It used to scare the hell out of me. But I'm <laughs> <laughs> sure it did. <laughs> oh, God. No, but that that – that was a time to be living when board games were were more involved in, in the family life and just in life in general. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Definitely agree. You did. Now, quick question, though. Uh-oh. Board games like chess and checkers. Uh, so I've never been a chess person. I still have no idea how to play, even though sometimes like I try to think I do. Um, but checkers, mm-hmm. definitely. That used to be a thing for sure. Can I say it's the other way around for me? I have no idea how to play checkers. Really? It's really yeah, I, I may have played it like maybe once or twice ever, but if yeah. you ask me how to play checkers, I'm gonna have to Google the instructions because I have no idea. Oh, it's it's not very complicated. <laughs> and that's the thing that slays me is that it's you have two different colors, you pick a color, and th- that's as far as I know. I don't know what the ultimate objective is. Oh. <laughs> you just have to it's kind of like chess, I guess, in the sense of like you have to like get as many of their pieces off the board as possible. That's what I figured. Oh. Yeah, chess. I remember, I forgot when I learned how to play chess. I was in elementary school, but I remember I learned how to play chess. I knew what all the movements were that, you know, each piece was allowed and yeah. the direction. Like, I was with it. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Nope. Not, yeah. not this girl over here. But you can give me some cards and we can play Go Fish or... <laughs> old Maids. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't actually remember how to play Old Maids, but I remember yeah. that one being a being a good game or the most simple game of all war but could last forever me and my boyfriend still play war <laughs> I've, listen that's a good one we actually still play uno uno is like okay, yeah but uno like that's a classic uno is a classic but it can make things very difficult i'm sure it can. and by difficult because everyone knows that there's no one set rule to uno that everyone abides by everyone has their own variations right. don't nobody read the damn instructions for uno <laughs> we're not looking at your instructions you've seen uno on like twitter or whatever posting <laughs> like, it's like uno, we're not listening to y'all we don't need your clarification we're gonna do what the hell we want to do and that's how yeah. we're doing it like don't tell me what to do mm-hmm. and yeah so it's just uno's hard because he and i play uno two different ways and i feel feel like his way that he plays is a punk ass way and that you know the way i play makes the game extend longer and you got to reshuffle the deck and like you know you may end up with like 20 cards in your hand and oh hell no i I don't want to play your way 
But hey, it's a challenge. And that's why you got to win so you don't end up with the 20 cards in your hand. This bitch. <laughs> I can't with you. But yeah, no. No, girl, you just really brought me back. That's what we need to. That's what we should do is like we should have a um, yeah. arrange a devoted game night. Right. Yeah. You know, and I feel like two different kinds of game nights, like game nights in person together. And then like everyone has a game night together at home in their separate homes. So it's mm -hmm. just kind of like everyone's on the same page, you know? Yeah. No, I think that's that's actually really cool. Yeah. Y'all take that idea out there. Do it with yeah. your friends. <laughs> It'd be pretty neat. Getting everyone on a good board game, out your phone, in person, be present, wave. Yeah, we definitely. can all definitely use more of that. And what better time of year than the holiday season, right? Yes, that is a sure thing. So I'm glad that you brought that up because it's just in time for people to start thinking these things and maybe even giving a board game as a gift. Girl, you, you just, oh my gosh, as you're talking, I'm like, this bitch just stole that out my mind. No, that's <laughs> very true. So true. Go ahead, y'all. Write down your list on what the games you need. <laughs> yep, we just gave you a whole bunch of them. And don't forget to buy your solo cups. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> don't forget the solo cups. Wow, that was a good one. Very good one. All right, girl, well, we got any more good game gems to be dropping on this episode? I am going to have to talk to you in another episode about the Squid Games, but any oh, more yeah. gem dropping for this episode? Uh, no, I don't think so. Those are all of the nostalgic board games I can think of at the moment. Yes, yes. Well, thank you for sharing because once you talked about your family traditions, you just brought us down a whole loophole there, and sure that was freaking awesome. That was awesome. But all right, y'all, we're going to go ahead and wrap this episode on up. Before we do, don't forget to follow your girls on Instagram, Facebook. If you aren't already, subscribe to us on YouTube. You know, we got episodes dropping for you each week on your favorite podcasting platform every Tuesday. Uh, check us on the radio every Friday at 9 a.m. WDJY 99.1 FM. The girls are here. All right. But uh, until next time, y'all. Bye, guys. Thank you.